Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from Cura Poster. Today we are going to learn how to rotate images with the help of tokens or variables. What's going to happen is that every time you post an ad, it's going to show a different image. What you need to do first is you need to upload your images to a hosting um, a, a, a website that's going to host your images and you're going to retrieve the HTML code. So let's go ahead and uh, open TinyPic, which is the website that you used for this particular video. And this is one of the images that we uploaded. And this is the HTML code. What you do is just copy the HTML code and paste it to a new text document. The new text document, you're just going to paste all of the uh, different um, HTML codes, one line per HTML code, and you can have unlimited uh, images rotate uh, as, as you post your ads. So your um, I uploaded 10 images and these are the 10 different HTML codes that uh, belong to those images. As you can see here it says uh, tiny peak. You need to change this. You don't want your users to click on your image and, and have them go to tiny peak. Also the image and video hosting by tiny peak text needs to be removed otherwise every time the users mouse over your images they're going to see this text so what i did is i created a different text document with i changed the website to say qrlopposter.com instead and i also changed the text it says buy it now so that's what's going to see that's what you uh, the users are going to see when they uh, the visitors are going to see when they go to your different um, uh, ads so let's go ahead and open cute back page and uh, let me show you exactly what i'm talking about so what you do is you're going to go to tools and go to variable creator and these are the different variables that uh, are already in the system, but you're going to import your own variable. So go to import. I'm going to import both uh, versions, the uh, original with the different, um, with the tiny peak information. And I'm going to import the one that I have with my own information. So here they are, token number one and token number two. Okay. So now we can close this and go to a new ad. And what we're going to do is the following. Here you're going to have your, your, your own content, your own ad, whatever the ad may be. Let's just for sake of discussion say, this uh, is my ad, please, please buy from me. Okay, you're going to insert variables to make this ad unique. You're going to post the same ad to different locations, but you want Backpage or Craigslist to think that this is a different ad. So what are you going to do is you're going to insert your variable. And the name of the variable was token1. And token2. So go to variable. Token two, okay. You can insert your uh, tokens any which way you want. Uh, I'm gonna show you the different the different things you can do here. Okay, so now I have the token one and the token two that's gonna post every time I post my ad. It's gonna show every time I post my ad. So how is it gonna show? Let me click on preview. There is my ad. This is my ad. Please buy from me, and it shows the two different images. This image here will take the user to tiny peak and this image here is going to take him to qrlposter.com of course you're going to put your own website here okay let me show you when i click on the first one it takes me to tiny peak we don't want that right so let me close it i'm going to click on the one i edited and it will take me to qrlposter of course again you're going to have your own website in the in your uh, variable or token and it will take your users or visitors to your website so let's go to edit again and we're going to see the next image this is one ad, ad number one let's see what ad number two is going to look like different image let's go and 
pretend we go to add number three. Different image. Add number four. Let's uh, move uh, move the images around. Let's go, I'm gonna put them one uh, uh, side by side. I'm gonna put them uh, side by side here. So let me do this. Okay, let's go and preview again. Now they're side by side. Go to edit again and preview side by side. So this again will make every one of your ads unique because it's gonna have a different image. Different, you can insert one more uh, variable. You can insert, for instance, uh, another one that says, uh, let's go to random number. And it's gonna have the two images and a random number. Let's go to preview. The two images and the random number, 105748. Let's go to the next one. Two different images, different number. Now, how do you do it in Qtero Post? This is the back page version, by the way. Uh, let's go to the Craigslist version. What you do is you're gonna go to Tools, Add Tokens, and go to Custom Tokens, and then retrieve your tokens from there. You, you're gonna go and import your tokens that you previously saved in whatever uh, uh, folder you have them. Um, in, in this case, I have them under token. So retrieve token number one and number two. Because we don't have much time, I'm just gonna do one. And um, now when you when you go in and retrieve your ad and insert your ad, and insert your token, you're gonna have that there. So that's uh, that's all it is. Uh, this is a great way to uh, make your ads unique. Uh, there's so many different things you can do with your variables. You can insert uh, different, uh, your logos for your company, different text, different ads. Um, you can rotate your, um, your image ads. You can create image ads just with the image and your text in, uh, embedded in the, in the picture. Um, there's so many different things you can do. So please visit our website for more information. Thank you for watching and see you next time.